First one, Jahan versus Surge. Got some dark pit actually, so we didn't. We're switching off from regular pit. We're going dark pit. Happy Black History Month, man. And we're getting uh, <laughs> some some Lucina we too. Go. We got Black Pit coming out versus Lucina. Let's see how this goes. I feel like this might be hard for Dark Pit because Dark Pit doesn't have that much range. I know he has that like little multi-hit thing right there. However, Lucina so good at stuffing out most characters and just like swinging her sword forward. There. That's right. Lucina's micro spacing is actually incredible. Where that means she space you. Uh, you know, just with the footwork like what we see in there, she just kind of walked out as he went for side special. And went for the grab, or she's just, you know, conditioning you with four. Oh my god, four there. Wow. Another down beat. No, good choice. He can't down beat up beat. Wants to spike. Almost got that. Actually, surprised he let that edge guard go. Mm -hmm. Not go for an F smash. Let's go off the stage. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, Taro. Just a fair. Man. Just one fair. Okay, all right, go for Sometimes it. Sometimes that's all it takes, man. I mean, I, I had to check if Jahan's control was even plugged in for a second. <laughs> like, hey, man, are you synced up? <laughs> you playing on the right setup? <laughs> all right, man. Nonetheless, though, trying to put some damage on the board here. Okay. Controlling this ledge very, very well. I like that short hop. There, there's the nair right on shield. And, you know, Pit and Dark Pit do such a phenomenal job at crossing up the opponent on shield, uh, you know, with that nair. But, you know, I, I just think Lucina has the tools to just alleviate that at times. As you see, just drop sealed really quick and went for back air forward or just to kind of create himself some, some space to breathe. Pit and Dark Pit do such a good job of just, you know, smothering at times. Oh my gosh, that was a really good edge guard attempt coming out from Dark Pit right there. Because he went, he did a fastball fair. Mm -hmm. He's doing a lot of good KO options, but he's not going to KO, but there it is right there. However, he needs to bring it back 67%. We have Surge right now, an F smash away from getting a KO. I feel like he might just be able to go for it. Ooh, drag down fair, fantastic. Wow, he's getting sexy on him, I like that. Huh, there's the down throw. I like that goes for like the empty hop on most characters obviously that'd be a big problem for him but a character who's blessed with multiple jumps like pit and dark pit they got some more cushion for their landing oh no b reverse neutral special trying to catch the roll off the ledge however surge looking fantastic right now again the percent is coming back but forward throw most likely into let's see back air back air is definitely strong in the forward air let's see oh, oh. no I, I think he didn't know where he would land after that side b i was really smart to land up there on that top platform too had it been oh whoa it's what a second okay so i didn't know that was, what, i didn't know it was a thing what the yeah, heck it took forever to actually reach but that side b is not going to be able to get him to recover surge able to get that back air let's yeah, see man. if surge could add some damage and yes this is exactly what he needs he needs to hit up in the air so he can just juggle him mm -hmm. all righty what's more another Ooh. dash attack i love the forward smash right on shield he knows that surge has to respect it jahan though just getting a little bit too close for comfort he's really struggling here to get these get these grab conversions going. I know that's where Pit and Dark Pit get a lot of their damage from, but you're going to have to get in a little bit better than this. Yep. Because every right whiffed grab, I mean, Lucina, she has some comboing tools herself. You know, she'll turn jab into forward air into all sorts of oh, stuff. Oh, wow. But, man, Jahan turning it into something, though, here. There's something about this guy where he's able to get these clutch KOs and these cl clutch, like, attacks. However, he's down by 100%, so it doesn't even matter. Lucina is facing him out, but let's see what he can do right here. Seems like he has trouble getting the percent or the... What? Got that up smash up close against Jahan. That was almost a JV two stock. Just stuff by him. I want to see his pit. This pit has a lot of potential. He's just not getting stuff to work at earlier percents. Like later percents, he gets the KO when he's down and out. However, we need to see him get that before that. Yeah, but I also don't want to take anything away from, uh, you know, from that character there. You know, the Lucino obviously was phenomenal. Dark pit. Obviously lacking it in a couple areas, you know, but also excelling in in, a, in opposite areas as well. Um, maybe not the best performance in the beginning, but at the end, though, the way he kind of brought that thing back, that was looking damn pretty. Yeah. We're actually going to stay with Dark Pit, not switching out. You know, sometimes people lose with, you know, one character to switch over to, like, you know, Pit and Dark Pit or, like, Martin Lucin. He's, he's sticking with his guns here. All right, let's see what he can do. And it's on Battlefield. I feel like this is a good choice for Pit. He's able to keep him on the platform. Can do up smash. Can do forward air on the platform. Can do neutral air on the platform. Nope. Might be a good choice. He just needs to space it out a little bit more. There we go. Little campier. But Lucina does not care. Nope. However, 54% already on surge. Cooking. Okay. Nice. Platform abuse. I love it. Don't let anybody land for free. And with, you know, the, the blessed maneuverability that uh, Jahan has, man, I, I don't I don't foresee Surge getting back onto center stage easily here. This is certainly his game to shine. Wow, what is actually Surge even doing? I feel like he's going for a lot of laggy attacks to be able to get a punish. And oh my gosh, that was so risky. He mm -hmm. almost got dared right there. Yeah, but he also got him, himself almost hurt there as well because if you whiff anything versus Lucene offstage, 
there's a good opportunity that she's going to get back before you. And uh, as we know, you know, Pit and Dark Pit, they have no hitbox and not recovery. So they're certainly just a sitting duck as they fly back to the stage. He actually went for that back air like three to four times before he actually got it to work. So just suffer him on that because he's, he's winning. So it's yeah. like, all right, it was a good choice. Or not. However, that Lucina back air, what is, how, why is that attack so strong? I don't know, man. I don't know what the heck Jim Lucina's going to, but I need to go myself. <laughs> I if I, if I could back her like that, she couldn't tell me nothing in real life. <laughs> And let's see, can he do the edge guard? He's looking for that neutral air for the second jump. Wow, fantastic. Went a little too aggressive going for that F smash at the ledge because he's going for a down tilt. Mm -hmm. And you can tell, you know, Jahan is just struggling to get in. And when he gets in, he's just like, I just got to press as many buttons as possible, man. I like to see him kind of come in a little bit more calm, cool, and collected. Oh, and okay, no up air that time. But I do like that down throw conversion. I like how he did it right up underneath the platform, too, to try to mix up his landing options. Like, which way are we going to go here? And I love this Lucina spacing the spares really well. However, falling straight into the F smash has to watch the second jumps, gets back. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Pit can do something about it. Uh oh. No. Pit loses stage control himself and now off the stage. Oh, what a counter. That's a little risky. That's it's something we counter. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen a lot of either. We haven't seen a lot of combo attempts here from Sir. I think he's just been banking on, you know, either you know, hitting Jahan off stage like back or whatever it is he's been doing, or just you know, just defeating him in the neutral. But I'd like to see more counters. Yeah. Uh -oh. I would like to. He did do that one counter, but it didn't work out too good for him. And right now, it's looking like it's in Jahan's like, hands. But we, we don't know. Lucina. Lucina could get a kill at like 60%, especially near the ledge. So it could be one down there and two. In two. That's right. In two. Uh -oh. F smash. We're about to turn it into nice. Uses the uh -oh. down special there to give himself some coverage. Sir's not having none of it, though. There's the counter, but you can't counter Pitt's up special. I think he was actually banking on side special there. There it is. Yeah. Oh, and I saw that F smash coming out. It didn't get to work. And now this is looking really good for Sir, for Jahan. Jahan going for that runoff neutral air. However, Sir is deciding to hang back when he decides to recover. F smash again. And let's see if he can do that runoff neutral air again. There it is. Oh, oh no, he me. did not. No, he did not, Keitaro. Did you, what the, did you see that? Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was like a secondary edge guard. Instead of runoff neutral air, let's get that multi hit and try to knock him on. It's like down me and said it. Doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. Tries to snipe him out with the arrows. Nine, okay. Goes for the up tilt, goes for the rapid jump, or excuse me, not the rapid jump, but the dancing blade, but delays it ever so slightly, giving Jahan the opportunity to roll behind. Oh, yeah. you had such strong stage position here in play. Uses the neutral special though as a get off the option off the ledge. Uh oh, this is looking very scary. Surge might be able to still bring this back, especially if he rolls behind Pit. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, and this an F smash? Ooh. Ooh. I'm afraid, K Tar. I, I feel like it might come out. Oh no, he went too risky with that. He has to watch out. Uh-oh. Yep, and that backer is going to be able to get the KO for our boy Jahan. Able to take it to game number three. I was really scared about that because I had a feeling like one random F smash from Lucina with Rage, done. People yeah. forget Rages in this game. Yeah, it might not it's, be as prominent, but it's yeah, definitely a fact that you have to take into consideration. Still definitely there. Do not forget, guys, Rage is in this game. And he almost was able to use Rage to be able to win that right there. But good stuff to Jahan. It's now 1-1. We're going to see Dark Pit come out again. And did I hear something different from Lucina? Uh oh. Was it Peach? Okay. No, actually, still, right. still got Lucina. That I mean, a little Peach wouldn't have hurt. You know, Daisy obviously would be a little bit better, but yeah. we'll definitely take some. We'll definitely take some Peach. All right, let's go ahead and get into this one though here. What could be looked at as the final game here for one of these? I mean, not looked at. It is the final game for one of these two gentlemen. Somebody's gonna have to go to the losers bracket. One's gonna move on in winners, and with the way things are starting out, Jahan look like he wants it just ever so slightly. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, keep him in there. All right, yeah, Jahan's doing a lot better. Over time, I feel like Jahan's starting to adapt to Surge, but it doesn't matter when you're fighting Lucina. Sometimes Lucina can get that one good hit, and that's it. That one good F smash. However, this Lucina is not trying to be too risky. He's going for a lot of safe hits and playing very defensive. As you see, her holding yeah. shield, blocking a lot of these multi-hits. Yeah. Drop fair plan to his weaknesses. Ooh. There's the drop down back here. That's going to do it. Surge right now, not the best. Start to this game number three here, but closing out that first second set the tone for the rest of this. All right, looking for that drag down four that we've seen in the last game too. That Jahan, it seems to be his calling. It looks like that's how he catches neutral, get us off the ledge. He's able to kind of reset the situation with that. But here we go. As him on stage, almost oh, like ex overextends with that up B, where he could have gotten up smash, but did not get punished. And 15% on Jahan. It's looking really good for Surge. Surge about to go off the stage and almost an F smash right there. 
likely could have gotten that, but I like how safe he's decided to be. What? Ate okay. that. He was like, I eat that for breakfast, dog. Get that side special out of here, or that forward air. All right, up to the ledge. Let's see if he can roll back on. Oh, nice. And I love that pressure there from the ledge. You know, just kind of showing himself. Tossing out that short high backer. I'm sure, you know, it, he That's really didn't have any real intentions of that connecting. No, if it did, you know, he'd take it. So he was yeah, just kind of tossing stuff, out man. as a safety net. It's good just to see the return of Wario, too. Yeah, All these characters that were that good in Brawl are now back to Smash Ultimate, man. What yeah. more can you really right have? Right now, again, Surge, a full stock ahead. We have Ready to get right one simple back here to be able to get this KO. And here it is. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. He turned around. He almost got that back air. But my boy Johan. Oh, forward throw. Wow, forward throw actually able to KO with Pit. Let's see if he can bring it back with running percent and going for that. Interesting roll read. That's going to be a lot of damage, 90% just because of that. Yeah, you don't want to whiff too many, uh, you know, just smash attacks. And, I mean, obviously you don't want to do that with any character in any matchup, but especially versus Jahan right now. That last game, so, uh, you know, Lucina just really started to whiff a lot of attacks. And oh, we got a fire emblem. kind of gave oh, uh, Jahan that opportunity, that, that peek it. in to victory. Yeah. All right, neutral air. Down so into neutral air. It's looking really good. Again, looking very good for Jahan. However, uh, yeah, it's actually, no, it's looking good for Surge because Surge has the lead. And Johan going for a little bit. He's a little too risky for these smash attacks. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I think uh, had he been a little bit over to the right, um, I don't think that Surge would have been able to uh, tech that the way that he did. And possibly the up smash would have been able to connect. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be a confirmed combo or not. Down there into up smash. Yep, that's some beautiful stuff. All right, Surge playing it very safe. However, actually, J Jahan or Jahan being able to stay on the stage and just wait until to see where Lucina's going to go. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Right. Okay, nice. Gets the short hop in there. Uh oh. Off stage. Really, Surge really crazy. scout. Yeah, he is a madman, ain't he? I don't blame him, though, because he, he was able to get some really early KOs at the back air. What? What just happened? I don't. He just, he just rest in peace. Jahan just ran off the stage and KO'd himself. Press, Unfortunate. Press F. We got, we got to pay our respects up for here, guys. I noticed a lot of people KOing themselves in this game, especially in the early part of the game, because they feel like they don't understand the controls of this game, especially with the buffer system. Yes. So that's something people just need to practice a lot and be able to make sure that does not happen. So unfortunate coming out for Jay Han. I felt like maybe could have brought it back, but, you know, he was down two stocks.